cheers to my makeup looking like I don't even know what. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. I thought it might be a bit of fun to do a very nice and like chill video. So today I'm going to be doing a drink with me slash get ready with me. So if you are of the legal age to drink, then grab some wine or whatever your drink of choice is and drink with me. I had my Instagram followers vote on what wine I would be drinking today, so I'm going to be drinking this. Oliver soft white wine. Hints of sweet peach, mango, and gentle honeysuckle got this cool pour from my sister for my birthday. Also, I really wish you guys could see my shirt. It says, thank you, next, but you can't see it because the print is so low and I hate that. So without further ado, if you guys are interested in drinking with me and watching me do my makeup, then just keep watching. So I've been doing my brows first, like, all the time now, and I've started watching Robert Welch, and he said that doing your brows first is, like, so much better. So I've been doing my brows first, and so today I'm going to take the ELF Instant Lift Brow Pencil, and I'm going to do my brows first. Not quite mastered, but I've gotten a lot better at doing like the feathery brow look. I am going to go ahead and put on my neck band so I can uh, listen to some YouTube while I do this. Look at how nice that is. I absolutely love this brow product. And for brow gel today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just because it like really like sticks down your brows. Look at that brow compared to this one. Like nice, big, and bushy, and then like nothing. I'm going to go do the other brow and do the eye look because then I'm going to recreate the eye look for you guys and I'll be right back. Alright, so I figured out what kind of eye look I'm going to do and now I'm going to show you guys how I did it. It's not terrible. Today I'm going to be using two different Morphe palettes. We've got the IC351 and the James Charles palette. And these are what I'm going to be using to create this eye look. I'm going to start off with the IC Fantasy palette. I'm going to be taking this like periwinkle blue shade right there. Now taking this shade from the James Charles palette. Back to the IC351, we're going to take this pastel purple shade. Now back into the James Charles, I'm going to take this like medium purple shade. Too much product, we're just going to wipe that away. I will fix this, I promise. It will get better. I'm taking this brush. It's just like a sort of dense blending brush. And I'm just going to go back into all of those shades and just re-blend them, but with this brush. Do you guys like watching these kind of videos? I don't know. I like watching people get around and getting around at the same time. I'm going to be using the J-Cat H2O Fresh and Dewy Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It's literally probably my favorite primer ever because it's hydrating and oil-free. So it doesn't leave my skin feeling like greasy or anything. What's your guys' favorite primer? Like, let me know down below. I would like to know. So for foundation, this is one of my newer favorites. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I'm seriously in love with this foundation now. The smell of it is so, like, nostalgic to me, and I don't know what it is. Maybe just, like, sunscreen? I've also been wearing a lot less foundation. I put on such a small amount, and it still looks amazing on my skin. I'm 
just look at that like you don't need a lot with this foundation for concealer you guys probably guessed it the alf hydrating camo concealer am i nuts i'm still not a very big fan of eyes before my face but now pretty much anytime i do eyeshadow i usually do my eyes first i'm just using the believe beauty matte blur setting powder yeah i'm really just not a wine person so for bronzer i'm taking the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this is the matte one i feel like i've been putting way too much bronzer on lately so i'm gonna try and like really stretch this out as i put on too much bronzer Make sure to like this video if you guys use any of these products on like a daily basis. I'm definitely interested to know. For blush, I'm going to be taking the Always Cheeky Primer Infused Blush from ELF. This is one of my favorites. So I've got an influencer box coming. And I'm pretty excited, but like also confused. It's the Philosophy... Purity Made Simple Mattifying Moisturizer. Like, what is a mattifying moisturizer and why would influencers send it to me when they know I have dry skin? Oh, yeah. I'm using the Oprah Madison Miller Moon Dance Highlighter. This is literally my favorite highlighter ever. I got this in an Ipsy bag. Also, thinking about canceling my Ipsy subscription. I just haven't been very happy with the last few bags I've gotten. I think I'm just going to take the colors I used in the James Charles palette. Oh my gosh, I just stuck my finger right in. So I'm just going to wing that out. I'm not very good at doing my lower lash line. See, so yeah, like that looks terrible. That's literally awful. Why do I even have a makeup channel? Like, I'm just terrible at doing makeup. Really should have just stuck with my gut and just didn't do a lower lash line. I don't know how some people do like so good with their lower lash lines. Like mine always looks like hot garbage. And we need some more. Here's to some more. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the ELF Dewy Setting Mist. That probably just got in my wine. So tell me, like what new launches are you guys looking forward to? Like, is there anything like super exciting in your mind? I cannot wait to get my hands on the ColourPop freckle pen. I am literally so excited for that. I'm thinking about doing a ColourPop haul. Like, are there any brands you guys would like to see me do like a huge haul with? Like, would you like to see ColourPop or Makeup Revolution or would you like me to buy some stuff off Beauty Bay? I've been looking at Beauty Bay more often and I'm like, maybe I should get some stuff off Beauty Bay. I'm going to take the Scone Cosmetics Insanely Intense Tattooed Eyeliner and I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera, so bye. I went ahead and did my mascara off camera just because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put on lashes. So the lashes I'm wearing today are the Kiss Lashes in Belle. I got them from Dollar General. I don't know. What kind of content do you guys want to see? Like, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Like, is this video fun to watch or is it super boring? I don't know. Also, I need like Netflix and Hulu recommendations. I need a new show to watch. I just rewatched Young and Hungry for like the third or fourth time because I love that show and I love Gabby and Josh. So I'm gonna take the Pop Beauty Pout on Point lip liner, which is so cool. Check this lip liner out. So it's like in a little twisty thing. And if you guys can see that point is like, it's like a little tiny triangle. It's so cool. I love it. I'm so crazy about it. I have mine in the shade Risqué Rose. Then I've picked out one of my favorite nude lips, which is the NYX Lip Laundry in Lace Detail. Literally one of my favorite nudes. Well, that is my makeup done. 
Does it look good? Does it look terrible? Probably terrible, but we're gonna go with good just because it makes me feel better. Cheers to my makeup looking like I don't even know what. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of like relaxing to watch. It probably wasn't, but maybe. Would you guys like to see more like drink with me videos? Because I like to drink, so... If those of you that are of age to legally drink, if you would like to see more of these videos, let me know. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. I post videos every single Saturday, and hopefully I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye!